gather to mark a very somber occasion. Many of us have mourned the passing almost six months ago of our friend Doc. He was a jocular soul, and there are many things that uh, I think his scintillating personality may have uh, helped us not to see. He was a Navy man, he served in Vietnam, he was in Southeast Asia, and while he may not have been scarred in body in a way that we could see, uh, he very much carried scars from his time in the war. Uh, but he was someone who allowed that pain to inspire him not to feel handicapped, not to feel uh, weighted down by the burdens, but instead it allowed him to tune into what pain others felt. He was someone who had an innate sense for someone, for others who experienced similar problems. And for many people in our community, our field trippers and our forum members, he was a lifeline for people who suffered similar issues to himself. Uh, this is from Doc's wife. My name is Terry Johnson. Doc was my husband for 41 years. My kids, Tamara and Todd, and myself, would like to thank you all for caring, comfort, and support we've received from you during this sad time. From Ryan tracking me down at the University of Iowa during the surgery to all of the comments, cards, and gifts that we received, it has been extraordinary. Some of you know that Doc suffered from depression due to his time in Southeast Asia while in the Navy. His depression brought bouts of agoraphobia, which made it hard for him to leave the house. Imagine my shock when he announced that he was going to Thomas House. I knew for him to leave his comfort zone and travel alone to Tennessee was a huge undertaking. That was the beginning of the PRS part of his life. I will never forget how excited and happy he was when he called home. It gave him a new lease on life. PRS was more than investigations and trips to him. It was a group of people who became as close to him as his family sharing the ups and downs of his life. Many of you have mentioned the impact Doc had on your lives. Please know that you had an enormous, an enormous impact on Doc's life as well. I am so glad that I had the opportunity to meet some of you in Salem. You are a special group of people, and we will never forget you and what you have done for this family. God bless you all. From Terry Johnson. Death is a difficult thing for us to approach in our culture. We all know that the flesh is weak. We all know that we must die. And no matter how much faith we may have in the immortal soul, in the fact that some part of us lingers after that, there is still the knowledge that this particular face, this particular voice, this particular manifestation of a person is something, once it passes from this world, we will never get to see and enjoy again that sense of loss and the fear of maybe never being able to reconnect uh, is what causes us to mourn. We feel compelled, knowing that sometimes spirits linger, to try to let go, but it is hard, and especially hard when someone has taken up residence in our heart uh, in the way that Doc did for all of us. What I want to do is speak to Doc himself personally, although I'm very sure he's passed on, um, and I think happily so. If anyone has had an easy transition from life to death and moved on to something much better, Doc certainly was. To Doc, <laughs> you touched every one of us. You changed our lives. None of us will be the same because of you. The bonds that we forged with you will not be erased with the passage of time, nor with the passing from one life to the next. Even though you have moved on to something different, we will all remember what we shared with you. After each statement, I wish all of you to say, we will not forget. For your vision, your insight, the lessons that you taught us, we will, we will not forget. forget. Your voice, your smile, the sound of your laughter, we, we will, will not, not forget. forget. 
your heart, your compassion, the way that you touched us. We, we will, will not, not forget. forget your quirks, your hang-ups, and all your endearing faults. We will, we will not, not forget. forget. And when next we see you in another life, we will we not, will not forget. forget. Along every journey there comes a parting, and while we may not meet again in the same way in the future, we will meet again. For now we must say collectively farewell. No matter how much we will miss you, you must move on to your new life, and we must carry on with our own. Never forget us, and we will never forget you. Lives may come and go. But family, even when it is family that we have found and defined for ourselves, is forever. We will always cherish you in our hearts and carry our memory of you on our eternal souls. <laughs> now, some of you may know the words to this particular one, and if you wish, we can sing along. I don't know all the verses. It's been a while since I was Catholic. Amazing <laughs> grace, how sweet grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.
has angels, guardians, and people that we feel blessed to have in their lives. Glenn Doc Johnson was one of mine. From the moment I started on the forums years ago, up until the AGH Chicago trip we took right before he passed away, he was a man who made you laugh, was there when you needed to cry, and listened patiently. As you cursed out the world and then helped you through it, a year ago, a year ago, I was at my lowest point in my life. I didn't want to go on, and he helped me through the darkest of my days. He made me realize I'm a better person than someone who gives up. I'm worth more than I realize to many people in this world, and eventually my life will get better and I will become stronger. <sighs> we finally got the chance to meet at FT Salem, and he had the time of his life. <sighs> Whether it was meeting Sharner, our Australian field tripper, who he describes as a life-size doll, batteries not included. <laughs> <laughs> says in the cemetery. Nothing quite like describing how 50 some odd people are standing there flipping the bird off to a kid in a sweater vest holding a camera. <laughs> <laughs> or at the witch trials which he unfortunately had to miss. To how Robert accused everyone under the sun. <laughs> um, to when he accused Lobo and was told if you're nice to your mom you can live and she said hang me. <laughs> <laughs> There's much more to PRS than a TV show and a good looking guy named Ryan Buell. <laughs> <laughs> he helped me find my voice, find where I belong. 2012 has so far been one of the best years of my life, and I wish you were here to see it or listen to my frantic FB messages about what I plan on doing next or what adventure I'm heading out on. Doc was a person who would be so thrilled and so happy to see me smile again. And that finally, I can say I'm happiest I've ever been. He is one of the reasons I'm standing here today, surrounded by members of my second family. He touches so many lives. And he changed so many lives just by listening. He's someone I will never forget. And I know he's listening. I'm calling down on this from above. Until we meet again, know that I love you, doctors, and I would never stop talking to you as long as you I was never to stop talking to me. Thank you. Doc always seemed 
to know when I needed help and even advice. After a while, I started to confide in him my insecurities. I never really thought I was beautiful. Maybe it's as, as a result of all, all the bullying I endured growing up. But he always told me, you are beautiful. Why do you always put yourself down? Eventually his words started to sink in and I realized what he was trying to tell me all along. That not only I was beautiful beautiful physically, but that I also possessed that inner beauty that I couldn't see for myself. If he was here today, he would want us to remember that we are all beautiful. And we should never forget that. He was most caring person I have ever met in my life. I began to see his, see him with my grandfather love in his eyes. But most importantly of all, he became a loving father figure. The father I wish I had in my life all along. I was thankful to have been able to spend some time with him and Beth in the same land field trip. He was just an amazing person to be around with, full of life, energy, and happiness. I miss you. We all miss you. But I know one day I'll see you again in heaven. You're truly an angel. And I know you're watching not only, not only over me, but each one of us in the room. And for that, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. But until the day we meet again, you'll always be right here in my heart. strange to most of you it is what in my order we close with but I think the words will still speak to you we have passed this way before and we will pass this way again we have been many things to one another brothers lovers friends and bitterest enemies through it all we have remained tied together soul to soul in this our blessed family may we endure together peacefully May we enjoy each lifetime as it comes. May we benefit each other as we benefit ourselves. And may we always find one another in every time and in every place to celebrate this fellowship and to share this bond.